Okay, I've got an ad, a clip to here to show you guys what's at my feet. I'm gonna do a massive Dollar Tree collective haul. I normally do not do this style of video, but definitely comment down below and let me know your thoughts if you liked it, if you want me to continue to do it. Um, this would definitely benefit those of you who have missed some of my hauls, and this is like collectively everything in one. As I've been hauling the last couple of weeks to a month to two months, I've been realizing some of the hits that Dollar Tree has been putting out. And that's actually what prompted me to just kind of like hold on to these things. Now, if you go back and watch the individual hauls of this, like when I was going to the store and buying them and sharing it with you guys, um, some stuff may be missing because since that video, I've held on to some of it in a box waiting to do this. And some of it, I've already like taken it out and like put it throughout the house. So FYI on that. Um, but yeah, this could be a very long video today. I don't know if we're gonna reach an hour, um, but I hope that if you just were looking for a longer video or you just wanted to put a video up on TV while you cook or clean or what, whatever, whatever works for you, this could be that video. But also, like I said, this is for those of you who have maybe have missed my past Dollar Tree hauls because now we're gonna put it all in one video and it's crazy. So I'm gonna put the total number of items somewhere. I don't know if it's gonna be in the title of this video. I don't know if it's gonna be here somewhere on the screen, but it's a lot. So let's get started. In order for me to do this, I'm just gonna grab through the bags. I'm not even going to try to categorize any of this. So we're just gonna pluck and grab. That's gonna be the system. Here, is bag number one. Some things will be new to you if you're an avid Dollar Tree shopper and some things you will you might recognize. So, shoots and ladders. This is kind of a hard one to find for me at Dollar Tree. It's usually like Monopoly, Guess Who, Battleship, but shoots and ladders, that one I don't find very often. Or like Candyland. Candyland's another one that's kind of hard to find, but as soon as I saw this one, I knew I had to get it. I personally junk journal with these, by the way. So, super cute. Then we've got some stickers, cute little teacups, and these little gates. I don't know what that's really supposed to be, but they're so pretty. I'm actually gonna stack my stickers over here I'm out of breath. I don't know why I'm out of breath. Um, <coughs> so that when I compile all my stickers, I can go back through them one more time with you. Okay, then I got these. I remember when I hauled them, I specifically talked about how I really got it for this piece right here. And you get the little holes, so if you needed to organize them in a binder, you can. Um, you get this little plastic sheet, and then I can always like use this in my desk, in my office for the calendar. Um, but I will say that I did get it for this black piece. Um, if you think about it, like from a Dollar Tree perspective, this could have been, you know, $2.50, but you get two items for that price, which is really cool. So I got that. Here are some more stickers. I love these like old world look to them. And then this one's really pretty too. Doesn't show up as much on camera, but this is actually a very charming little set of stickers. So we're gonna put those there. Then we've got this bamboo oral brush. This is actually what prompted me to get this video filmed today because I have been holding on to this massive pile for so long, but I was in my bathroom doing my organize with me. I've been talking about doing that video. It's coming soon. I actually don't know which video is going to be up first. That one might have actually hit before this one, but um, I realized as I was unpacking my bathroom, like I'm missing some things that I've hauled and I realized it was in this pile. So anyways, that is what I'm doing. So anyways, I need to get some of these things back into my bathroom. You won't see it in that video, by the way. Not to confuse anybody, but it's too late now. I've already filmed it, if that makes sense. 
So I'm gonna go restock my bathroom with this later. Next up, some of you might remember this ribbon. This is actually a bonus item. So I did pick it up at Dollar Tree for $3. If you missed the original video, I was so shook I found this at Dollar Tree because I have not stopped thinking about this ribbon for years. Like there was a point where I had forgotten where I got it from and I couldn't quite remember. I was like, cause this part is like kind of gone or I don't remember. I just remember thinking, and, and Dollar, I think Dollar Tree also updated this part because the other one that I had was so old that Anyways, I'm making, I'm making this to me to be too much of a long story over this ribbon. But the point is, I it was so long that I forgot where I'd gotten it from. And then I saw it at Dollar Tree and I was like, oh my gosh, this ribbon is stunning in person. Like, if you're a junk journaler, highly, highly advise on this group. Okay. Um, next up, we've got these organic pads, feminine products from Dollar Tree by the line Be Pure. This is definitely a dupe to like the honey pot, I believe that you can buy at like Target or Walmart. This is just crazy. Dollar Tree puts out so many dupes that sometimes they sneak it in and you don't know that they're there. But these are overnight pads, they are organic, which is awesome. And then we've got day liners. I don't know who needs to know about this especially in America where we don't have bidets. But maybe everybody knows about this and I just didn't. I kind of came to this realization a couple years ago, but day liners is where it's at. It keeps you feeling fresh every time after you go to the bathroom. And it's so small, you can, you know, if you're at work, you can just like put it in a pocket or stuff it into your skirt or whatever. I've done that stuff before when I was like working in an office space. Like this is so discreet and if there's, and now that I do this, I can't undo my life. I can't just go to the bathroom and like, am I talking about this on the internet? I am. I can't just go to the bathroom and pull up my underwear and like move on. I have to have a fresh one of these. It feels like you're wearing a fresh pair of underwear every time. And it keeps your underwear clean. I just, whoever needs to know about this, okay? Anyways, speaking of feminine products, we've got these. I don't know what dupe they're supposed to be of. It kind of is giving EOS, but I don't know if EOS has done any type of like feminine wash, but it just looks like a dupe to something. I don't know what it, oh, it says Summer's Eve is what this is compared to, but the look of it, I don't know, maybe Summer's Eve has a product that looks like that, but it is a feminine foaming wash. This one is a coconut, and this one is a mandarin orange. Both scents that I personally love. I love anything on the fruit tropical side. So I'm gonna go stock that in my bathroom. Um, then I've got products in which in the original videos, like I already took them out of the packaging to share with you guys. So kind of bear with me as I showcase those. So we've got the, LA Colors where they put out the little bubble tea. Like see, the one my mom sent me, if you watch my vlogs, my mom sent me the green matcha tea one. That's somewhere, I don't even know where the frick that's at. But so this little line was so stinking cute at Dollar Tree with the little bubble tea theme. Love this. I wanna try this one on camera. We're gonna do that. Actually, look, we're just gonna try this one. I'm pretty sure I did on camera last time. Yeah. <gasps> it smells so good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I love that. This one was peach. That's the one that I tried. This one is a strawberry matcha and this one is a grape. So pretty awesome. But before we go any further, I wanted to introduce you guys to Body Restore. If you remembered a few hauls back, I actually talked about how I wanted to be in the market to find a body shower steamer tablet and I found it. It is Body Restore. So today's video is sponsored by Body Restore. Thank you so much. And you guys, this 
I can smell it outside the packaging. I am definitely in my self-care era. If you guys follow me on my vlogs or you just kind of like watch all my videos, you've probably picked up on that. I am just really loving the process of just like enhancing certain things in my life. And these shower steamers are so good. The eucalyptus, a chef's kiss, okay? I mean, it smells, you can smell it outside the packaging. It is just beautiful. The aromatherapy, the essential oils on this, I love using this in my morning shower routine as well, especially with eucalyptus. That's personally the one that I choose. It just makes me feel, it wakes me up. I feel invigorated. It also relaxes me too in the best way. Let me show you the collector's box because this one is a beauty. You get 30 tablets here and 10 different scents. So you get essentially three of each, which is so amazing. And in this one, so if you were to choose to do the collectors, you do get the eucalyptus in here as well. And like citrus grove, lavenders, rose floral, fresh teas, the bergamot spring, cocoa orange. Oh my gosh, can't wait to try that one. The chamomile, the jasmine, the milk and honey, which is another one that I really love. And the milk and honey is the one that I'm showcasing in this video and it smells beautiful. Also, can we talk about this packaging? The individual packaging on here would be really cute too. If you wanted to like kind of give some away and put them in a gift basket, this would be a great gift for Mother's Day, by the way, because I would want to personally get this. So it's a shower tablet. So essentially what I like to do is I like to obviously turn on my shower and then I kind of put it in a spot where it's going to be out of the main shower stream of water, but just obviously enough to where it is, you know, having contact with the water and it just makes my shower experience so absolutely amazing. They even have a relaxation guarantee. So if you aren't 100% relaxed and satisfied, Body Restore is gonna give you your full refund back. It's eco-friendly with sustainable packaging. It's made with top tier environmentally friendly packaging material. It's also long lasting, which is key for me because that's what I've been trying to find in a shower steamer, but it lasts up to 10 minutes, which is so much longer than an average shower steamer. And Body Restore is gonna give you guys 20% off of their collector's box, which is such an amazing deal. You just gotta use my promo code, which is Crafty Girl to get your 20% off. I'm also gonna link it in the description box for you down below as well. And I'm gonna pin it in the comments. Thank you so much to Body Restore for sponsoring today's video. And now back to the haul. Then we've got this Rollerball Fragrance by Be Pure. Again, another one that I tried like on camera in the original video but here is what it looks like it has some like little glitter to it just a little rollerball fragrance this takes me back to when my grandma would order from a a um avon this actually smells really good you could easily just like throw this little guy in your purse that's what i'm gonna do with mine okay so we're gonna put that there then we've got the Sassy and Chic Mascara Wands. See, this would have been perfect for that video because I've been trying to stock up my drawers. But I will say this, in that video, I realized I do need more of my little clear organizer containers from Dollar Tree. So I need to go buy some more of those and then I can continue my organization. But I'm gonna add that to my bathroom. And then the dupe, the best dupe of them all. I discovered this and it shook my brain and now I've seen a lot of people talking about this. So it's it's very clear. I was just speculating on my own. I hadn't seen anybody talk about this, but now I'm seeing people talk about it. Um, so their, their analysis matches my analysis, but this is a dupe to the Sol de Janeiro <sighs> It's uh, salted caramel or whatever it's called. The one that I use, it's my go-to body mist. This power stick, this Brazilian spray or Brazilian mist, it has notes of pistachio and salted caramel. And those are the exact same notes in the Sol de Janeiro. So this is a dupe and it's just like a little spray. It's a body mist. You will see more of these throughout this haul because I bought, I bought a bunch. Now I don't see them on the shelves anymore. I think it went super, super viral. Okay, so 
So I'm gonna try to also organize in my bags, like what needs to be taken to my bathroom. I mean, this video is just gonna be long anyway, so I might as well, you know, do all this on camera. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna put the Oral B in here. We're gonna stack these over here because I want y'all to see how many cans I got, which is so crazy. Okay, next up I'm gonna grab for this bag and listen, there are gonna be flashcards in today's video. I talked about in a previous haul, I discovered these with the kite and I was like, I need to go back and get those. What I did at the time is I took a photo of the cover of this with my phone so I could remember which one I wanted to get because the kites have the cutest little theme. I'm not gonna open these up, but they are super sweet. Should I open it up? It's just gonna be like an hour long video. Um, okay, let's, let's move on, I guess for now. Maybe I'll like open it up later, but I got three packs of those. Then I got some more of these makeup vanishing towels. They came out with a new print with this like white little flower with a purple background. Super cute. We're gonna put that, we're gonna organize that in my bathroom bag so I can just take that straight into my bathroom. Then we've got these temporary tattoos that they put out for St. Patty's Day. Yeah, this has been a collective haul from like March to April. So we've got these really cute tattoos. I found these in the baby section, okay? That just really goes to show you gotta look everywhere for stuff. Okay, next up, we've got the watermelon. The watermelons are also really cute. Um, all right, so here's the little watermelon prints. Wait, are these? like upside down yeah so how stinking cute is this and then on the back excuse me um, little kiwi yeah so So freaking cute. So that is the watermelon pack, okay? I went ahead and opened up the kite pack just to show you the difference. This is so freaking precious. I just, yeah. I'm gonna have a good time junk journaling with these. So pretty. I just love the bright colorful. And then if you prefer words, for junk journaling, you have the opposite side. Some super adorable little play phones. They are so cute. These were the colors that I found. I'm gonna throw these in a box and ship them off to Canada for my niece and nephew. You pull the little um, thing out. I'm just gonna do it on the white one. Um, okay, so I'm sure that's gonna drive my brother crazy. That's gonna be his problem. They better answer that phone, you know what I'm saying? Then I picked up one of my favorite pens. Super, I love this pen. I've seen mixed reviews off of this, especially you, some of you guys I remember have commented on this and you didn't necessarily like it or didn't work that well. Maybe it's like by the pen. Maybe some of them don't, I don't really know, but I've, I've liked mine. Um, okay, then we've got some more lip oils from LA Colors. Here is this one. Excuse my nails, please. They're literally so brittle right now and looking rough as hell. Okay, um, so we've got that lip oil. I'm gonna put that in my, uh, my bathroom bag. And then I have these Chupa Choo, wait. Chupa Choops, am I saying that wrong? Um, they also had this one in a pink one. This is the watermelon mix lip balm. I've actually been collecting lip balms from Dollar Tree for years. I mean, like I'm going on like eight years at this point. I could probably end up doing that, that haul now. Are y'all ready for the, the Dollar Tree lip balm haul? I don't know, comment, let me know. So I gotta go put that where, my, where I've been storing them. So then we've got these, these little roll-on lip glosses. 
These are super cute too. They'd be great for like gift baskets and stuff. Love those. And then um, I found this, these dive gems. I've also started seeing these at other stores and they're going for a lot higher than $1.25. I think I saw them at like Dollar General for like three bucks and they're $1.25 at Dollar Tree. They're just like little gems you could throw at the bottom of a pool and you like dive for them. So thought those were fabulous. And then we've got these cute little activity books. This was done by Crown Jewels, I think. Yeah, Crown Jewels Kids. I personally love the color covers. I'm gonna pull the covers for junk journaling. I'm just gonna like cut off this part and keep this image in my junk journal. And maybe this could even be the cover. I don't really know. But you know, they're just a little activity set. You get little which you can also put in your junk journal. You can either color or leave it blank and put it in and build it into your signatures. And then you can color it once your junk journal is done, you know? All right, so that is that bag. And I'm also gonna organize what needs to go to my niece and nephew versus what needs to go into my craft room. So these two books and these, these I'm gonna ship out. These were again, collective hauls. They were from like, 10 different videos. So more of the kites, more of the watermelons. Gonna throw that in this bag. Then we have these flashcards right here. They are so cute. Again, this would be so confusing for those of you who don't know about junk journaling or why or what's the purpose. I totally get it if it's not your thing to like understand, but it has been the hobby I wish I knew I needed years ago. So that's what that one looks like. And then this one, looks like that. Let me just bring it back out. I'm not going to open these up because I feel like you kind of get the gist. They're just going to be like different colors, but that's what those look like. So I'm going to also sort these into the bag that goes into my craft room. Okay. Then we've got some stickers in this gold foiled effect. It was really the pink that kind of really caught my attention. I thought it was just such a sweet bubblegum pink. And then I also got it in gold. And that is going to be for my craft room. I'm gonna put my ribbon for my craft room bag. Um, then we have, I love these little stickers by Crafter Square where they're kind of like a pop-up. They're freaking precious. And then I talked about when Easter was over, I grabbed these before Dollar Tree was gonna put away Easter. They still had some of these little cards left over. And they were my favorite of this year. So I went ahead and got one more little set so that I could always pull them for junk journaling. My goal in my craft room is to also organize by holidays. I already started doing it with Halloween and Christmas. I need to start organizing for like Valentine's Day and Easter and stuff like that. So these are gonna go in this bag. All right, so that's that bag. Here is the next one. Assured put out a new razor. I don't know if the other one's in here as well, but look how pretty this little floral razor is. They also made this in a pink. Um, I think these sold out pretty fast because I'm not seeing them anymore. Maybe they'll come back in stock. Here's some more of that bubble tea collection. Super adorable. I'm gonna put these in with my bathroom stuff. Um, yeah, so this one is also gonna go in my bathroom. And then I got some socks. They finally put out my favorite sock of all time. Looks like there's an update to them though. They have the gray at the heel. The original ones don't have the gray. This is by the brand Juncture at Dollar Tree. This is a relatively new brand there. Um, so I got two packs, I was so, freaking excited there's something now about just like wanting all my dollar trees to be from or my socks to all be from dollar tree so that's gonna go in my room i'm just gonna like set that over there. okay then dollar tree put oh i also picked up some of these towels so we've got a little purple one i'm obsessed with these okay they're washable there's no chemicals on it because it's just a towel. You put run it underwater, takes off all your makeup, and it's reusable, so you're not buying wipes. 
over and over. I personally really love it. Okay, then Be Pure put out this beautiful little kit. It's still out there. They're displaying it for like Mother's Day. And there's way more to this collection. I'm gonna see if it's like through this haul. But this is a little foot mask set. And then another foot mask and hand set. Super cute. I'm gonna hold on to this just in case we come across the other stuff. Then I picked up some toothbrush covers by Reach. I'm gonna use this to stock in my bathroom. So into this bag it goes. And then Dollar Tree put out these little... I took them out of the packaging when I filmed the videos it in here. I don't know if it's like in this one, but I have the other colors as well. We're gonna find them here, but they're for like your makeup or a beauty blender. I don't think it's meant for a beauty blender because there's not ventilation in here, but it's like meant for like cute little things. They have it in black, blue, purple, and pink. We'll see if we can't dig the, the purple and pink through here because I know it's somewhere. Um, then they did the makeup blender storage in these two colors. I believe they also have other colors. We might find them as well throughout this little pile, but you put your beauty blender in here, has the ventilation so it air dries because it's a sponge. You know, you don't want that bacteria. If a sponge is dry, it can't grow any bacteria. Have you ever watched that episode on Frasier where Daphne isn't living there and Martin and Frasier are arguing about the sponge <laughs> and she walks in because she's not living there for like a little bit. She walks in to the apartment and the first thing she does is she wrings out the sponge. Anyways, I'm just saying, I don't know who needs to know that, but it can't grow bacteria if it's dry. Okay, next. We're just gonna put that in the pile, okay? Um, we have more of the lip oils. The other one I showed you was like a lavender. So we've got a little red one, a little pink one. And these I bet will be so sweet for like a little bit of tint and shine. So I'm probably gonna throw one in my purse at a time. And I'm honestly thinking of this bright one. So, but for now, we're gonna throw these two in my bathroom bag and Okay, that's an empty bag, that's an empty bag. Um, this, wait, this is not from Dollar Tree. This is from Timu. I don't know why that puts in here. Um, okay, then I picked up these Global Beauty Care wipes. You don't flush, they are firming cleansing cloths, which is really cool. So this one is in carnation and vanilla. This one is in violet and bergamot. And this one is in Sunflower and Honey, which they did a whole set to all of these and I have more of the Honey one, but I'm wishing I had the Carnation and like vanilla. What I didn't do in the original video was test them out. Oh, that smells good. It has, with, it has firming serum and collagen plus vitamins A, C, and E. And I guess like, what do you do? helps renew, tighten, plump, and moisture skin. Like, I'm assuming you do this. It says for recharging, so you probably wanna do this on a clean face. You know what I mean? But these would also be great for Mother's Day gift basket. So there's that to consider. I'm gonna throw all three of mine into my bathroom bag. Okay. And then we've got these cute little jaw clips. Super sweet. I'm also gonna throw these into my bathroom so that I can kind of like clip my hair away if I'm doing my makeup. I don't usually do that though, cause for me, I always do like my makeup with my hair up in a ponytail or um, my hair's like wet with a clip behind. So I don't normally like do this and keep my hair long if that makes sense. So I might not reach for these, but they're still cool. Um, oh, in my bathroom bag. And then, oh, here's the pink one strawberry swirl so that's gonna go in my lip balm collection and then we have this hyaluronic acid moisturizing cream i believe there's more to this little collection as well but let me just show you the jar and what it looks like so you guys can kind of like see the product 
starting with another new bag. We've got some really cute clips. These are definitely going to go into my bathroom. Dollar Tree has been nailing it with hair accessories lately. This is the time to go maybe do some, you know, rejuvenating on some of your old clips um, or restocking your bathrooms. The clips are good right now. Okay, so we're gonna put that in a new bag for my bathroom. Have this guy right here, which is an aromatherapy diffuser by the brand at Dollar Tree called Luminescence. One of the oldest brands that I can think of from Dollar Tree is that right there. Um, and I've been shopping for over two decades, okay? Um, but it is a little diffuser. I think this is actually really great for travel size, even in the car or like smaller spaces or like in your office. This would be great for that. I'm gonna put mine over here. Okay, then we've got this sticker. We're gonna put that in the pile. I got some gum. Yeah, here's some of it right here. Like, see, like, I've got a, this is why I needed to like finally do this video. Then we have something, here's one of the receipts, something that shook me, is Assured put out a new color in this razor. For the longest time, it was peach. Never even knew there were plans to give us another color. And then they dropped this glitter purple. Shook. She does the job. Okay, she's not the most perfect razor on the planet, but she does the job. I love taking it with me to travel. Okay, into my bathroom bag. We've got some stickers. So just rotate. Well, you're welcome to pause on the screen if you just need to see them for a little bit longer. I will rotate through the stickers again at the end. Then we have a satin sleep scrunchie. I'm actually gonna start sleeping with this. I've been sleeping with my hair in a side braid, but what I'm noticing is it's still damaging the back of my head. I need to get a satin pillowcase. And I've been waiting for Dollar Tree to put them back out, but my Dollar Trees aren't selling them anymore. So maybe I'm, I need to wait for a restock, but I can get stubborn like that. Like I don't wanna go get one now on Amazon or I want to get my satin pillowcase from Dollar Tree because I know they've had it and I've bought it before. But now they've got the scrunchie, so I'm thinking about like tying my hair up because um, I feel like my braid isn't working that well. But anyways, and there that goes. More gum. Then we've got these little dispenser pumps. They actually put out this other sweet little color set. Hopefully it's in this video. No. I did take them to my bathroom. So they're like a pastel color and they're so sweet, but these are just little dispenser pumps and these would be great to travel with. You could put, you know, moisturizer, all kinds of things in here, whatever, you know, whatever works. So actually I'm gonna use the pastel ones. I don't need these. So these are gonna be a donate. I've talked about this. It's a question I get often. I can't use absolutely everything, but I want you guys to see new stuff. I end up donating, so that's what I do. Okay, then we've got these cute little cup containers. You'll see a couple more options, but you can also remove the watermelon pieces with like acetone or something like that, and then you can just like relabel it or cricket it if you want to, which would be really cute, but the watermelon's just precious, so I really like it. But it's a little tumbler, you know? Like, what? Okay, so then we've got this Be Pure line that dropped, which is the revitalizing line in which they're claiming over here in the front that you can compare it to Olay Regenerist Regenerating Cream Cleanser. Be Pure is comparing this to Olay, which is like, okay. So we've got the cream cleanser, then we've got the hydrating moisturizer, and we have the hydrating night cream. I need to double check what the ounces are for traveling. I always forget 1.36 ounces. I think this is fine to travel with. This guy might be a little too big. Four fluid ounces, that's too much, right? So I don't think I can get away with traveling with this one, but I could put it in a dispenser pump. Um, but these are gonna be for traveling. So I'm gonna throw these in my bathroom bag. There's another empty bag. We're getting there. I would say we're almost halfway there. Okay, here is the purple and pink little 
luggages, roller luggages. I was so shook when Dollar Tree put this out. And this is exactly why I wanted to do this collective haul so that you could just see how good all this stuff was in one single video. So these I'm gonna put in, actually, I'm gonna just keep the black and I'm gonna donate these three. I want to honestly keep all of them, but let me just, I'm trying, I'm trying to be organized and more realistic for myself. They also did purple. So actually I probably need to choose. Let me just choose to keep one of these colors. Cause didn't I throw them both in here? Where are the other ones? Wait, where did those go? Oh, they're over here. I thought that I put them over here cause I was like, I thought I had more colors. <gasps> Which color do I do? Do I do pink or do I do blue? I'm I think I'm gonna go with blue. Okay, I'm gonna keep blue and I'm gonna donate these two. I have the fact that Dollar Tree put out these really cute eyelash case containers. I don't wear eyelashes, but I'm, tr I'm gonna like try to get into them. And if I do, this is gonna be the case that I'm gonna personally choose. I think the other one is somewhere in here. We'll come across it somewhere, but I'm gonna keep the cherries. So the cherries stays with me. Okay, then I picked up these adorable little notepads or list pads or like whatever these are called, notebooks. They are so cute. Look at that. And so this is how it looks. So some of the pages are short and some of them are long. So you get this little retro 80s style. You get the cute little... Um, rainbow now i'm actually gonna pull these i'm gonna pull this and i'm gonna pull this and use it for junk journaling and then the papers i can just use as filler i think i'm gonna donate this one and i'm gonna keep this piece of the roller because i really like it so this one's gonna get donated and these are gonna go into my craft room which goes in this bag okay we've got some more stickers here some super cute 80s one, little butterflies. This is like, I mean, this one's been a Dollar Tree for a long time, but I really like it. Some flowers, I'll put that there. Here are some more, look at these claw clips. These were some of the newest drops with like the splatter. So good. All the clips I'm going to keep. Actually, I'm going to only choose one of these, and I think I'm gonna choose this one, and I'm gonna see if Micah wants that one. So that's how we're gonna do that. Okay, here's another sticker, a little pirate theme. Goes in the sticker pile. And then we've got these little drink, what are these called? They're like water flavor enhancers or something, but I'm gonna use the boxes for junk journaling. So I just need to open these, take out the little packets, throw them in the pantry, and then I'm gonna keep the box for my craft room. Okay, then we've got some gardening gloves with the cherries. So cute, gardening, I'm just gonna throw over there. Okay, we've got these stickers. I bought those a lot, I think. And then we've got these super adorable little hair clips. And I actually got these to craft with for my junk journal. You can turn them into paper clips and turn them into like little charms. So these are going in this pile. And then we've got some more little lip balms. Let's see. I realized after doing this haul though, that I don't have the full set. I believe LA Colors put out six total rollers in this collection and i only have this end of the rainbow i don't have the purple green and blue end of the rainbow so i'm really sad that i didn't get my hands on it this one is lemon lime this one is peach and this one is cantaloupe which is very cool these are going to go into my bathroom bag and then we've got these la colors but they're more like a jelly balm super cute the purple is in mixed berry. The pink is in strawberry kiwi. 
in my bathroom. Then we've got Eco Tools. And when they did this drop, I was so shook. So we've got this Bio Blender, 100% certified biodegradable sponge, USDA certified natural ingredients, 100% plantable paper packaging. It's safe for sensitive skin and dermatologist tested. You, to clean it, you rinse and hang to dry, you replace every 30 days, which I've noticed is the recommendation for like loofahs and sponges is like every 30 days. So for my bathroom, then we have this auto eyeliner in white. I don't know if I should, wait, is that what? No, yeah. The thing is, I feel like my eyes are already big, so white would only make them bigger. But I'm gonna throw it in my bathroom anyways. Okay, then we've got these cute little cupcake um, collectible looking lip balms. This again would be in that video if you wanted to see it of my whole Dollar Tree lip balm collection. So we're gonna put that for my bathroom. And then we have this beautiful dish drying mat, which left me so shook. Um, this I'm gonna pull out and put in my kitchen. And they have multiple prints, whatever brand this is, this home with a heart brand. I don't know who they are, why they're at Dollar Tree, but there you go. Okay, next up, this was in a recent haul. Here's this little sticker set. Love the airplane on that. Um, and I found Coca-Cola products. So I found these two cups, so adorable. And then this Coca-Cola bucket. What? I love that. I wanna see more Coca-Cola products. And then I got this coffee. In that video, I talked about how I saw someone on TikTok say that they just buy really cheap coffee and they sprinkle it in their backyard and it like prevents mosquitoes. And I was like, $1.25, let's sprinkle her around. So, all right, grabbing. Now we're pretty much halfway there. So let's get into that. Here is another can. We're gonna stack her over there. I grabbed a movie, Take Me Home Tonight. So that's gonna go in my movie collection. So we're gonna put that there. And then we've got some really cute little clear stamps. These are gonna go in the craft room pot. I also got some other movies. I got Get Hard, which is so funny. This is a Blu-ray from Dollar Tree for $1.25. And then I got Dance Academy. This is the comeback. I love this show. I wish it would have ran longer. Personally, I think they made some mistakes in their writing, but whatever. This was actually such a good show and it was actually based in Australia. It was like an Australian show, so good. So it's an older one, but like 2000s, mid 2000s, I think. But that is gonna go with my movie collection. Okay, then we've got these facial sponges, um, charcoal infused and regular. And yeah, I feel like I definitely need more like exfoliating type stuff for my skin. So that's gonna go in my bathroom bag. Then we have this clip, which I died over. And one of you actually told me it was peaches. And I think I thought it was strawberries, but you're right, it's peaches. And it's even cuter somehow. But I wish there were lemons and strawberries and watermelons in this. In that bag it goes. And then I'm just gonna let you feast your eyes on these adorable little loofahs. This is a strawberry, lemon, and an avocado. I said this in the last video, I'm gonna say it again. Why did the avocado get a face and the others didn't? I wish they didn't give the avocado like a face. You can't tell me that wouldn't have been so adorable. You know what I mean? Whatever. Um, I'm going to donate the avocado. I'm keeping these two, so donate she goes. Oh, actually, I wonder if Micah would like this. I'm gonna ask her, I'm gonna throw that over there. Another receipt, look. Like, okay. Then we have the Sassy and Chic nail brushes. I just really need this to clean under my nails. I've actually been watching me myself in some videos and I'm so embarrassed because my nails look like I've been digging dirt, but you know what it is? It's I'm touching my face and it's makeup. So my nails look dirty and I guess in a way that is dirty, but it's just makeup. And so I got this so that I can, okay. Um, oh, 
in my bathroom bag. We've got some more stickers. So cute. Pause the screen if you need to keep looking. We have a makeup brush cleaning mitt. I got it in black. They do come in multiple colors. Um, then I got these little mini powder puffs. I bought these um, before, and these I'm just gonna stock in my bathroom. You get like right in those little corners. So I got those. And then here is the cosmetic brush set. But look, this matches this line. See how cute that is? So let's keep this set together. I think I'm gonna donate the pink. So there's that. And then we have this personal care revitalizing three in one hair conditioner for all hair types. And it says compare to sun bum. I don't know if this is new or if I just haven't personally been paying attention, but the amount of products I'm seeing from Dollar Tree saying compare to lately has been a lot. So that's going in my bathroom. And then we have these gals right here. These are amazing. They are a sassy and chic powder puff with case. And you can't tell me this isn't the cutest thing you've ever seen. So the pink and purple have the same powder puff color and the blue and green have the same powder puff color. I don't wanna get rid of any of these, but I'm gonna force myself to anyways. I'm really digging this little combo. I'm gonna keep one of each, one of each powder puff color. So I'm gonna keep these two and I'm gonna donate those two. This is monumental for me because I am a hoarder of sorts. Okay, here is the next bag. Look at this, I, like, I bought this because I needed it. Or I think I got it for Micah. So we've got some cleaning gloves, put that over there. We've got a retinol hydrogel under eye pads. This was for my video that now, you know, I was like, I wanted to just stock up my bathroom and add all these fun little Dollar Tree things. So I'm gonna add it obviously after the fact. So in my bathroom bag, here's a cleansing pad. I put a little hand and do that. That is really cool. And I love the black. They also come in another color set. I think the other one is like more colorful, but I like the black. So I got that. The fourth can. Um, we've got these bright little dots. I use these for junk journaling. And then, oh, this cute little mushroom light that I actually got from Micah. I'm put that over. Um, okay, then we've got some Mother's Day cards. Cute. I'm gonna use these for junk journaling. This one's my favorite. And the bumblebee. So precious. So those are gonna go. I need to start a new bag for my craft room. So in there. And then we have these Sure Fresh fruit ice packs. We've got the lemon, the orange, and the watermelon. I'm definitely gonna keep these. I think it would be so fun to do picnics. So I'm keeping all of them. And they're going in my freezer. Okay, next up in this bag, we've got, oh, these made my thumbnail. When it makes my thumbnail, glass, iridescent, Ooh. wait till you see all the colors. Like, how did I get my hands on this? I don't even know. But like, she's gorge. Do I have to get rid of all these? And There's no rule. There's no rule that I don't have to do that. Keeping that, okay. All right, next bag, another receipt. We have this really cute little set, which they are putting out, at least at my stores. You never know how people, each store is gonna arrange their stuff, but I found this in like an end cap for Mother's Day. Two little heart bath bombs, and then this bath, um, what are they called? Bubble bath with the champagne look, so cute. 
gonna put this in my bathroom for myself. Okay, then we have my soaps. First of all, this I was not expecting to find this Miss Ma'am. Miss Ma'am at Dollar Tree. Now I've seen this at Dollar Tree, but I didn't expect to find the shea butter and vanilla because this is what I want to smell like now is this bar of soap. So what I do is I use this bar first and then I go in with like another type of body wash. <sighs> so that's going in my bathroom. I need a third bag for my bathroom. And then we have this one, which is the gentle exfoliating. This would actually be really great too for like your legs or your shaving areas right here. Okay, and then we have, oh, I got three. I got three of the shea butter. Here is another of the Bum Bum I mentioned in the original video when I first discovered the first one. I was like, you know what, when I go back to Dollar Tree, I'm gonna pick up just one more bottle. I'm insane. In my bathroom it goes. Okay, then we've got these super cute little novelty pens. One is a little sports car. That would actually be really fun for Father's Day. So these, this one and this one, I found in the checkout aisle. You might want to look there. This one's a little basketball and they come in multiple colors. So the car comes in red, blue, purple, yellow. This comes in yellow, red, blue. So super cute. These go in my craft room because I collect pens. I didn't say this was a D stash video. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Then we have these. Sassy and Chic really said we're coming in hot in 2024 because if there's any brand that needs to win a first place prize between all the other brands and who's doing the best, Sassy and Chic takes the cake and I'm shook I'm saying that. I mean, I haven't seen Sassy and Chic go this hard ever. So you might want to pay attention to this brand right now. Um, so we've got these little two piece cosmetic cases. You can just like for traveling, for whatever. So I really, I'm gonna donate just this one. I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna keep these two, but I'm gonna donate this one. Okay, these are going into my bathroom. Into my bathroom bag. All right, so there's that. And let's see, we have three more bags left. Um, okay, we've got this coconut infused exfoliating bath glove. Love this to exfoliate. One thing I will say is I've been watching certain people that I follow um, on social media for certain things. Christina with no H, I've mentioned her before. She's really taught me a lot about skincare. She really dives into the science behind it and she explains all of it. And exfoliating is really good for the ladies 40 and up. So um, I need to be doing that. Cause you know, maybe our cell turnover rate is a little, She's maybe she's a little different. Maybe she's a little slow, slow. I don't know, but okay. So I got this for my bathroom then we've got these adorable little lip balms from la colors these will also go into that video comment down below do you need to see that actually let me just comment i'm gonna comment and say vote here if you want to see my lip balm collection because you will see some that are so old i'm talking like six seven years old from dollar tree that i've been collecting so you can just vote. All you have to do is thumbs up my comment to vote. Then we have this pretty little claw clip. I love the like translucent vibe of it. So she's staying for keep of her. And then we have these super adorable little tumblers. Where's the other one? Hang on. Now it originally came like this. Okay, cause I did switch these around. All right. In the video I demonstrated this is how Dollar Tree is selling them. This is what they look like on the shelf. However, what I was saying is that if you switch these out, they look ready to be like decor. 
They would be so cute to be displayed in the kitchen, in a tear tray, or in a shelving, in your coffee bar, whatever. These would look really cute. So I wanna keep mine for that, and I think I'm gonna donate. But no, see, I need to keep the orange, because who remembers when I bought that orange pitcher from Home Goods? Okay, good. No reason to get rid of any of those. Okay, we're gonna keep that. Another receipt. And then they put out this little set, which would also be really great for Mother's Day. This little peppermint infused bath sponge. Peppermint is such a great essential oil. It's actually really good for cough, asthmatic stuff. When Even when I go into a doctor's like my care now, they'll be like, put some peppermint drops in your humidifier. Like peppermint is so good. I'm actually burning it in my essential diffuser right now. So these are great for Mother's Day. I'm gonna of course just keep them for my bathroom. So I'm gonna put that in my bag. And then we've got some more of these. Same thing, like I said, they are for my junk journal. So I got a Skittles one. I thought it was super bright and beautiful. And then the seven up ones just looked so vintage. So I had to get it. So we're gonna put those for my, yeah. Then we've got these claw clips. See what I mean? Dollar Tree's really nailing it. I'm gonna see if Micah wants these, but I don't really care for butterfly clips. So if she doesn't want them, I will donate those. Um, here is the little lemon. So freaking cute. I saw someone on TikTok who did the acetone. She like removed these little dots and then she redid it and it, she made it look like a pencil and like a teacher gift and then she filled it up with stuff and she did, oh, so cute. If I can find that video on TikTok, I'll throw it up here for you to watch, but like precious. So there's that, we're gonna keep that one. And then we've got the mommy, the mommy juice to go. This shook me. There's also another pattern um, that's out there. There might even be a fourth pattern, but these are my favorites personally. Look how stinking cute this is. It's like adult Capri Sun to go, okay? I mean, it doesn't say that, but like you could do it with that. They could be for kids too if you wanna make like a certain type of little juice for them. They are so fun. Put a little, comes with their um, straws. It does not say BPA free. Do what you will with that info. So for me, it's personally a no. I can't, I just can't put a product. I, I'm like, sometimes I do it. And sometimes I, I find myself being firm, but I actually want a junk journal with these. I'm gonna use it for that instead, but no judgment, do what you wanna do. There it is. And the final bag, and she's a big one. Okay. We're still gonna be here another 20 minutes. Okay, we've got the seven pocket organizer. I already opened one up on camera in the original video and I'm gonna organize something in my drawers, probably socks, because I think my socks need the most organization. So I'm gonna use those for that. So that's gonna go in my room. Then we've got these adorable loofahs. I'm not really seeing them anymore. I, I fear they have flown off the shelves, but you might still be able to find them with a little pom-pom trim. They're precious. It's giving springtime. I love it. I'm gonna put this in my bathroom to refill for my loofahs. So every 30 days, we'll do that. Okay. Next up, we've got these. This is that line again. This is an infused scalp massager. This one's infused with lavender, and I believe this one's infused with rose. But this one, I'm gonna donate, okay, because it's the pink one, and I don't like rose scent anyways. But just to show you again, all of this goes together. So that's pretty fabulous. Okay, then we've got these um, sharpeners. The sharpeners took me out. I couldn't believe that Sassy and she gave us some really good sharpeners for once. And these are the color options, so cute. I'm gonna keep all of them. Okay. 
there's that. Here is the pink floral razor. We're keeping her too. Always good to just have some razors on hand. And then we've got these beautiful makeup brushes. I could not believe I found these. I had seen them floating around. This one's like not sitting right, but it's like half. You see that? Half one color, half the other. So cool. I'm just gonna keep one. And I think I'm gonna keep the sage green one. And I'm gonna donate the purple one. Oh, no, wrong bag. Goes in there. Okay, then we have these little push to start rhinestone blings. I have heard these aren't that great and they can mess up your push start. I don't know if that's true or not. I have no basis to this claim. I've just heard this FYI on that. So do what you will with that info, but also could be great for junk journaling. And there she goes. We all know which section this is going in, don't we? Don't we? I could not believe Jot put out such a product. My eyeballs couldn't stand, couldn't stand it. I just love the vintage look, probably makes no sense to you, but I'm gonna junk journal with this. So I got three of those. And then we've got these travel sized bottles in pink and in green. I think I'm actually going to keep, see, should I have kept the, the pink beauty blender? and kind of No, I'm going to travel with the green one, but I'm going to donate this one. But just to show you what it looks like. You see that? And then you fill it up and then they all come out separately too. I think there's some of them are yeah. Some of them are like taped in, but that's it. What? That that blew my mind. So I'm going to keep this one. Okay? Then we've got this dry brush by Spa April Bath and Shower. And dry brushing is just so good, so healthy. Look up the benefits of it. This claims face and body. Does anybody dry brush their face? Comment and let me know. Because that makes me a little nervy. Okay, then we've got these, which are a faux eyelash case by Sassy and Chic. I already opened this one up in the original video but basically you just put your eyelashes there. It's like a little travel case for them. So cute. I'm gonna keep this color. I'm gonna donate this color. So we're gonna keep that. And then we've got these really pretty cuticle oils. Look how gorge. Is that not so pretty? I'm gonna keep all of them. Okay, okay. And then we have, I think the final thing in this whole entire haul, we just did it, we went through it, these bath fizzies, and they are gorgeous. They're packaged gorgeous. So this one is a lavender with essential oil. This one is an orange blossom. And this one is a rose. How pretty. They are really giving it to us for Mother's Day, like um, gorgeous. I'm gonna keep these as well. Actually, I'm gonna donate the rose because I just don't like rose. But we're gonna keep the other two. And that is my haul, my collective haul, if you will. Um, all of my receipts, I don't know if these like kind of apply. I might have like pulled some products and already like taken them away. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the style of video. If you did, please comment and let me know so that I know what you're enjoying and what you're kind of like, okay, this was great one time but I may not need to see it all the time. But there's that. I have no idea how much money or a number of items, but I feel like it's definitely 100% has to be over 100 items. Um, I'd, be, I'd, I'd be curious to find out if it was like over 200 items. Oh, I was gonna rotate through the stickers. So I'll do that now. I'm gonna put this one away. So four, four is the final number. All of these I'm gonna keep. It's gonna go in my bathroom. And I'm gonna throw these in my office. And here are the stickers. So you're welcome to just pause on the screen. But these are, okay, let me do it this way. Yeah, so you can kind of see that better. 
so cute. I have a weakness for one, anything at Dollar Tree, and two, Dollar Tree stickers. This one by far is my favorite. Okay. Here, another favorite is this one. Love the sun in this one. This is another favorite with the post box right there. The teacups are so charming. And then of course these two. So all of these are gonna go into my craft room and we did it. That is the full haul. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.